Hi everybody and welcome on this new video. This time I decide to build my personal version of the Ghost of Kiev. This is a MiG-29, easy to find on the market, but I also use several aftermarket material because the version proposed by Academy is cheap and so the details are very poor. Thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, do not forget to subscribe, like and comment. Thank you! Like often, I start by the cockpit and in particular by the seat which coming from Edward but I also add several details like cables as per the reference pictures that I found on Google image. I started of course with the black primer that I also use as base color. I painted the different color of the seat directly with the brush before to apply a Tamiya gloss varnish. I apply the wash before to start the weathering. I like to work in this order because like that I can see better the place that I want to highlight. I finish the highlight with a light grey dry brushing and finally I glue the last pieces of the belt which will be weathered with interior wash from MIG. Modifications are needed to install the cockpit in resin from Edward. The painting of the cockpit is classical except for the fit place where I pre-paint in aluminium and olive green in order to create scratch later. I painted the last detail of the cockpit before to apply two layers of gloss varnish from Tamiya. In the same spirit than the seat, I apply the interior wash before painting the last details. Finally, I finish the cockpit with a coat of matte varnish from Tamiya. I insert the cockpit in the original plastic pieces and I found several gaps that I fix with milliput resin. I sculpt the resin to obtain a good integration of the complete assembly. Then I continue the assembly with the rest of the plane.
I painted the front of the cockpit in black and I finished with a light grey dry brushing without forgetting to mask the optical already painted in transparent orange. Once again, the gaps between the pieces are fixed with putty, this time from Tamiya. I finished to fix the last small defects with cyanoacrylate glue. Of course, I needed to rescribe the pattern lines after grinding. As I scheduled to present the model with a closed canopy, I installed the transparent pieces and I mask the clear parts with a tape and liquid mask. The model is ready for painting but need to be cleaned with alcohol. After a first layer of primer, I need to correct few small defects not visible before painting. After the painting of the base color, I started to apply the mask with tape in order to realize the famous digital camouflage.
A simple piece of paper is used to remove the excess of paint due to the tape previously used. After clear varnishing, the decals are applied after microset liquid application to seal it correctly. Microsol liquid is also used to soap the decal on the surface. I highlight the panel line with the transparent smoke from Tamiya. This paint is highly diluted with 80% of thinner. I finish with the accessories, weapon, landing gear, fuel tank, following the same method from the rest of the plane. Finally, I installed the remaining pieces. This is the moment for me to be very sorry because the rush of the building of the engine and the landing gear were corrupted and it seems that the ghost of case is also responsible of the end of the life of my camera. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoy it, see you soon for a new model.